take it over you got my soul nobody gonna tell me different you Gemini, Gemini, if you're new to the channel, welcome, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you love this video, okay, if you love the reading, please stay, subscribe, um, I have free gifts for everybody, please stay tuned, I will tell you how to go about getting your free gifts, you are going to get two free personal readings from me, okay, um, and you're going to, um, that's not from me, okay, it's from me, but it's it's from me to you, but it's from me, okay? Like, it's not from me, it's from me to you, all right? But um, you're going to have to wait till the middle of the reading, okay, you guys? Because I've been giving them away like hotcakes, like nobody's business, and it's just not cool, you know? I need, to, I need to get some, I need somebody to reciprocate my feelings, you know what I mean? So... You guys know what I'm saying. Gemini, you understand what I'm saying. You you can, you speak of my language. <laughs> you speak of my language. You guys are mercurial energy. I'm Gemini rising. You guys know what I'm saying. Right? Stick around. Love the reading. Like the reading. Follow. Subscribe. Okay? Um, I did get, I did get a channel message for you guys. Uh, music. So, uh, before we get started... Us, obviously. Ooh, we got seven of wands coming out first. Okay, make it an entrance. I just saw the Hierophant. Ooh, baby. I heard you can have whatever you like. But before I before I heard that song, I actually heard if you feeling like a pimp, nigga, go and brush your shoulders off. Ladies, pimps still go and brush your shoulders off. Niggas yeah, is crazy, baby. Don't forget that boy I told you get that done up your shoulder. Okay, so that's what I heard. I'm not trying to sing that because I'm sick as fuck. <laughs> I'm still sick, you guys. I've been sick since freaking uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, so if you guys have been messaging me, if anybody's been messaging me, I am not ignoring you. I'm just not feeling good, you guys. And all this is going on while I'm moving, which is so annoying. Um, yeah, COVID made a comeback, right? <laughs> I thought it was gone, and then it was like, psych! <laughs> gotcha, bitch! I'm like, fucking seriously, <laughs> I hate being sick. Okay. All right. So we got the seven of wands coming out first. So I don't know. I just heard dust your shoulders off. Dust them off, Jam. Okay. Dust your shoulders off. Stop tripping. I also heard stop tripping. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear that, but stop tripping, babe. Stop it because you already know you're the shit. All right. I feel like there are energies around you that are very combative. It's making it hard for you to conform or um meet somebody halfway here we got the tower you got to deal with y'all dealing with a damn scorpio we got eighth house here baby all up in your reading with the eight of swords i know this could be a cusper this could be someone who has air highly aspected in their chart but i just get the number eight specifically we're not going to look into the swords even though i know that's libra right that's the cusp of scorpio right there because eighth house is scorpio death we have the tower here and the death card. A definite ending is happening in your life, especially with the Knight of Swords in the obstacle position. You are trying to get the fuck out of here. You're trying to get away from somebody who's combative. We have the Six of Cups mirroring the Six of Pentacles. A lot of mirroring. You could be dealing with a twin flame or they could be trying to get out of something to come towards you is what I heard with the Knight of Swords. But I feel like it's going to be overly emotional with the um king of cups this is also how you're being seen with the two of pentacles in reverse i also heard you're scared of somebody like gemini are you scared of this person like you scared of them because they remind you of yourself you 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 know you ever meet somebody that reminds you of yourself but you don't want to admit it some of you guys i heard somebody's pointing the finger at you but this motherfucker is guilty <clears throat> i don't know why you're guilty as fuck whoever it is you're guilty or someone you're dealing with is guilty, but they keep pointing a finger at you. It's like, um, excuse me, bitch, you are guilty. I don't know why I heard that. You are guilty as fuck. Guilty as charged. Okay, with the death card in reverse, 
I also heard the tower, like somebody's trying to resist some sort of tower here with the death in reverse and the obstacle position, and it deserves to go down. It deserves to happen. It is fate. It is karmic here. Um, it's going to happen regardless. It's going to be like a bat out of hell is what I heard with the Knight of Swords. Like it's something you cannot stop here. You got three sixes in your reading, by the way. 666, which is an angel number. No, it is every number has a dark and light side to it. Okay, so you need to look at that. Um, does not mean the devil. It can mean the devil, but it does not just mean that. Okay, so um, six is actually the number six itself is actually a very family oriented number. Okay, and you think about all the numbers that break down to the number six, like the 717 number, which is a twin flame number, also three, um, 303, 222, 555. They all break down to the number six when you break them down. Okay, um, when you reduce those numbers, they all the way down. You you get up you know, get the number six and you have it here three times so you can be seeing two 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 three zero three uh, five 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 what other numbers um geez um I can't think of any uh, at the seven one seven is a twin flame number so if you're dealing with them and and it does look like somebody could be dealing with a karmic or a twin with the eight of swords okay um mirroring the tower and the death card like it's going boom boom boom. The the eight of swords is mirroring the tower. The tower is mirroring the, the death card. It's go. It's like it's like oh my god, holy shit. So it's like eight 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 six six six. You got those two numbers here, very uh, significantly here. Okay, you have the knight of swords here. You have um the five of cups and the hierophant. Okay, the number five itself is very um auspicious in your life. I'm getting for a lot of you the number five. Could be very significant. So you could be seeing 555, five, five, which is talking about change. You know, interesting enough, 8th house is transformation. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio because, you know, the number 5, I'm hearing 5th house. You guys could be dealing with somebody who is quick to change, okay? Gemini, you are quick to change. You guys are very, like, quick to lose interest in shit. So I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with, but... There is someone around you who is like, I'm getting pointing the finger at you. I don't know if you up and left. It does feel very flaky is what I heard. But they're telling you to stand your ground. I feel like there is someone pointing the finger at you. I don't know why. I'm also getting someone is stealing money from you. Okay, I'm not just, I hate when the ratings come out like this. It just gets on my nerves. They want your wealth or something like that. They either want your wealth or they're stealing something from you. Okay. Um, this could be the reason you're leaving something behind or someone behind. I do see a commitment here with you and a Piscean, which would make you, oh my God, two mutable signs. Oh, baby. Um, I'm trying to figure out how that's going to go. Like, okay, I'm trying to understand how that's going to go. How's that going to play out? You have two, um, two mutable signs, um, air and water. I don't know, man. There's gonna It's going to be kind of combative is what I heard. Um, also... You never know what's going to happen. If you're with the Pisces, I feel like they're always moody or you're moody. Somebody here feels like somebody is always worried, always doing something that they're not supposed to be doing or something. They're always worried about something. Someone's paranoid. I heard someone's paranoid. Eight of Swords. Oh my God, it's so annoying. It's annoying. This, this, this nagging I'm hearing. <laughs> Gemini, it's you. You're annoyed. Because this person, I don't know, this person having nightmares about you, but you are done with it. Like, you are standing your ground. You're putting your foot down. I feel like you've retracted some sort of inheritance. You've retracted some sort of abundance. I am getting this as something around your business that you've built all by yourself. Um, you're not giving to anyone anymore at this time. I feel like you're reserving all of your, um, they're telling me too that you are preparing for the famine. Like, you know about the famine. You guys, a lot of you are woke as fuck. You know what's going to happen. You know that the shit's going down. You know that the stores are going to be all fucking broken into. People are going to be burning buildings down and shit. You guys are preparing for something, like something traumatic with the tower and the eight of swords. Like, it's kind of bothering you. You know what's going to happen. But people around are just walking around like, doo -doo -doo, and it's really annoying you. Like, you guys are so, st you're like, fucking what is wrong with everybody? They're so stupid. Oh, that's so mean. Gemini. Oh, my God. That does sound like a Gemini. You guys are ruled by Mercury. You know, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Also, I'm hearing like you and a Virgo are in like cahoots. Are you guys like you guys are like preparing something together here with the two of Pe two of Pentacles and the King of Cups? This person could have Pisces highly aspected in their chart. Um, 
also Taurus energy with the Two of Pentacles mirroring the Hierophant. They're both, that energy is Taurian for me, Two of Pentacles. Um, this is a contract that is over. Okay, you and this person are still preparing though something I'm getting. Because there's an emotional attachment to one another. You care about each other's well-being. This person's going to make sure that you're okay. I feel like they're going to check up on you. I don't want to hear this person checking up on you a lot, Gemini. Okay? I feel like this is the person that you stood your ground to. They're worried about you now, Gem. You fought a lot with this person. Okay? They're, they're, I feel like, too, they're nostalgic here with the Six of Cups. You know, with the Six of Cups marrying the Six of Pentacles. Ugh. Oh God, you have it three times. You have two of them. Shut your face. Eight of Swords mirroring the Tower. Tower mirroring the Death card. Oh my God. Then you got the Six of Swords mirroring the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups mirroring the Six of Pentacles. What more could you possibly ask for in a reading? So much synchronicity. Even despite all this energy around negativity and having to start over, um, resisting some sort of transformation, some sort of ending, it's actually really beautiful. Like somebody's being shown a lot of synchronicities and they're not they're not even trying to pay attention to it. Now maybe it's you, Jen, that's told somebody about this. Maybe you've told somebody to pay attention to the synchronicities that are lining up around them and they don't want to listen to you, but I feel like the tower is gonna force them to. Because something you said to somebody is gonna play out exactly how you said it was gonna happen. Like you're a full blown fucking psychic. Somebody around you is seeing you as a psychic, okay? They're going to sit there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> By the time they do, I, I feel that it will be too late. The Knight of Swords energy is um, quick, but I, I am getting with the Death card in reverse. It's like too late. The Tower has fell with the Tower mirroring the Death card. It's too late. Transformation is 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 in, it's inevitable. Okay, it's I'm getting it's being forced here. Okay, so you had to tell somebody something. I feel like you had to tell somebody about their bank account. Um, if you guys work in communications or if you work in some sort of like um, facility, like I don't know if this is your boss. Wow. Hold on. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so congested. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. Um, or you work for like you work with money or something like your financial advisory. I am getting like some of you could be some sort of engineers software engineer or you could be somebody who develop um engineers um equipment for i don't know um vehicles any aircraft any vehicle any any automobile anything anything that's used to get around um i am hearing something too very innovative somebody they, like the first flying car somebody is creating the first flying car you've told somebody that this shit wasn't gonna work Something wasn't going to work. Some tool they used or some sort of, um, some piece of, um, some part that they put inside the vehicle or part that they put inside the, um, gosh, I don't even know what to call this because I don't know. Is that a hovercraft? What is that? Is that a boat? Is that a jet? I don't know. It probably does everything. It's, it's so innovative and it doesn't surprise me because you're, you're a Gemini, you're a mercurial energy, you rule everything. Okay. You rule anything that has to do with communication or technology, period. Um, you guys, I am just getting like you told somebody that that wasn't going to work or the coding wasn't right and they didn't want to listen to you. Like they're fucking, oh, they fucked up everything and then you had to start over. Somebody had to start all over and it's really pissing them off because they, they already knew, but Gemini, because of this, you're going to get put in charge. Okay. I'm getting like an earth sign. It's going to put you in charge A Capricorn. I also heard an Aries. It's going to put you in charge of that department or something like that because you have a really, you have a good eye for things, okay? You have a good eye. You understand how things work. You know all the coding. You know, um, you're really good at math. Like, I feel like this is really needed to, like, required, whatever profession you're in. Your, your ability to calculate is very much needed, okay? Somebody around you feels you're a true asset to their company um, with the Hierophant, um, if you left the business, they're going to ask for you to come back. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. I'm getting a call back. Somebody's going to be like, Oh, Jam, I don't want you to go. Like, I feel like too, your contract is up with somebody. This could be a studio. is what I'm hearing. Like a, a producer, they want you to come back in and resign, renegotiate some sort of contract. I am getting something about an NDA. 
So there is somebody around you who is willing to bend. I'm hearing bend the rules for you. So for some of you guys, get expect a call, okay? Because I feel like you're a true asset to whatever this is. Like I feel like this person or whoever it is, this company, this corporate company, or um, a, a, I hear um, for some of you facility, they are... They feel like a little lost without you. Like their 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 stats, their their ratings are going down um, since you've left. They're gonna be ah, practically begging you to come back. I am hearing 2022. I'm getting February for some of you because maybe you're thinking about quitting this the end of January. I'm sorry, the end of January or the end of December. I'm hearing the end of the month. So somebody is quitting just in time for the next month to start anew, okay? But that is, I feel like you're going to end up back where you started. You're going to be asking for more money. Is some of you going to be asking for more money with the seven of wands mirroring the six of pentacles? You're going to be telling them, hey, I know my worth. Like I heard it, song again, there it goes again. If you feel like a pill, nigga, go and brush your shoulders off. Maybe you're celebrating. You know, I don't see that here, but I, I get that there will be here. Six of Swords is all about celebration. You have the Six of Cups, nostalgia. Somebody is worried. They're like, so they miss you. This is all about missing someone. A victorious being. Someone who's very victorious. It's you, Jim. You have the higher effect and how they feel about you and the five of cups. Like, come on. This is someone who's coming, but this is someone who's making their way back. <laughs> making their way back there. Rocking fast. He's in fast and homebound. They're like, I need you and I miss you. I want you now. I don't know the song. Totally butchered it. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's what I heard. And it's like, this is the energy. Like, it could be a romantic interest. This could be the company, though. I'm just getting something around money with the Seven of Wands and um, this Two of Pentacles in reverse, okay? And the Seven, I'm sorry, Death Card in reverse and the Tower. For some of you, this is romantic with the Six of Cups, okay? A, a small few of you, this is like somebody who, who was going to ask you to marry them or they had a ring already picked out and you broke up with them. For somebody, like, that's for, like, a small few of you. Like, they have the ring still. They still got the ring, babe. That's what I heard. Girl, I'm going to just say. Okay, let's get an oracle message for my Gemini's. Ah, oh, the Kini of Infinite Light. Oh, honey. She cannot be bothered. This, this is someone who cannot be bothered here. This is the energy you're in. The number nine, okay? You could be a life path number nine. Number nine encompasses all life path numbers. All the sign, I'm sorry. Number nine encompasses like, you know, Pisces encompasses all 12 signs. Number nine encompasses all of all of the numbers in numerology, okay? All the gifts from those numbers, okay? Everything. So, and it's the highest number you can go. It's the highest number you can go, Okay. <clears throat> excuse me and um it feels like you guys are really standing in your power here with the seven of wands okay like it's telling you if you're not stand your ground okay again i keep hearing so if you're feeling like a pip just stop playing over and over that shit is annoying like, i'm tired of hearing it <laughs> i'm tired of hearing this song. okay all right all right gemini so they're asking you to seek, all right? They're asking you to search. You'll find what it is you're looking for. Find the teachers and the teachings which feel pure to your heart. But remember, it is the inner truth of that inner truth of you that will ultimately set you free. Like, I get for a lot of you just to march to the beat of your own drum. Somebody around you is coming. I am going. I'm hearing, don't go chasing the money. The money wants to chase you. So, I don't know. Oh, my God. That might be why I keep hearing that song. I hope you guys aren't out there pimping bitches. <laughs> I'll be pimping them bitches. I'll be wrecking them hoes. I'll be wrecking them niggas. Oh, my God. What is this shit? I really don't know what y'all be doing, okay? But it's like you're not, you don't have to do anything. Everybody understands the assignment, okay? Um, those of you who got, I heard you got somebody in trouble, though, because they didn't listen to you, and you brought it to the... I don't know, headquarters, somebody's attention. I heard head of headquarters. Head of, headquarters attention? This could be NASA is what I also heard. Oh my God, somebody is in shit. Somebody's in deep shit. 
because they didn't listen to you because you are um they're equal so like they're, you're not lower than them you're not beneath them you're their equal you're not superior you were their equal like you guys are both working on the same thing and you told them something and i feel some of it was based on theory so that's why they didn't want to listen to you but you were right you ended up being right and whoever it is the head of the whole project district whatever it is that you guys do um they were upset with that person. They got upset with that person. I feel that person almost got fired, but they got on like, they got like suspended or something because it really messed up everything. This is like something like costing the company thousands of dollars. I'm here, I'm hearing tens of thousands of dollars. Something that they did, okay? They like blew a fuse, I'm hearing. Um, doing something, a component was not, two components were not, lined up or were not in compatibility and they got in trouble for that because they didn't listen to you and maybe you are an expert in that field maybe it is maybe you're a programmer maybe you are a coder of some sort or maybe you guys are an engineer i don't know but somebody around you they're really like resentful okay and, and they they blame you even though they're the only ones to blame um and i feel like you guys are being sought after after this um incident okay because you got people looking at you at the, in the higher ups looking at you um, as if like you don't belong on that level. You belong up there with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, do not give your power away. They're saying, but do trust in your greater. Do trust in a greater guiding wisdom at work in all aspects of your life, Gemini. Ask for help from a light, enlightened spiritual beings in any matter of concern to, and to help. Um, and help shall be granted. Okay, believe all problems can be resolved. And a more graceful life experience is opening up for you now. A Dakini is a supernatural female. I'm sorry, feminine being who being who inspires spiritual practice, guides one to actualize Sidhis. I'm sorry, I'm butchering the shit out of this, right? Sidhis. I never heard of that word. Sidhis. Sidhis. Or spiritual abilities, okay, and teaches the inner path of awakening. She protects us from negativities and restores our vital energies, okay. She teaches us how to act from wisdom, with wisdom. Um, it's actually a really nice card to get for you guys. I feel like you guys are very intuitive and then maybe somebody around you just kind of like, they like overlooked you. They like underestimated you, Gem. I don't know if you're younger than this person. Maybe you are younger and they were like, whatever, Oh, don't you just hate that when old when your superiors think less of you like that? Don't you just like you you want to respect your elders, but you're like, man, I'm just not gonna say shit. You know, like I, I like some people just don't think you're good enough, or they don't think you can handle shit, and it bothers you. Like Gemini, maybe that bothered you, and you just went ahead and just told headquarters, like, hey, you know, um, I just want you know for the record, it wasn't me that did it; it was this person. I told them not to, and that person, and they asked him, hey, did, is that true? And they were like, yeah. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to need you to pack up all your stuff for the temporary, you know, for temporary, for the time being, you know. They didn't get fired, but I feel like this is serious, you guys. This cost them tens of thousands of dollars uh, on, like, of equipment. Some equipment was ruined or blown out. Fuses were blown. I got an explosion for some of you, like a really big one. And it, and it ruined a whole fucking room. Like, the whole room is, like, black on one side. It's really crazy. I don't know. Like, that's not for everybody. But I am getting that. You tried to stop it, Jim. Yeah, with the death card in reverse. You tried to stop it with the Nine of Swords. Like, I don't get that you're, like, here too. Like, what I'm also hearing with the death card in reverse and the Nine of Swords in the obstacle position. Is that you weren't trying to be this way to somebody. Like, I feel like somebody around you thinks that you're very combative. But you saw something before it was going to happen. You might have even had a dream about this shit. With the Eight of Swords, you might have had a dream about this. Eight of Swords could, be speak, could speak to sleepless nights, nightmares. You could have even, like, you could have even had a premonition, to be, to be honest, okay? Um, anyways, <clears throat> if you guys are new, please hit that thumbs up button if you like this reading, even if it didn't resonate. Fuck, if it didn't resonate... Well, maybe next week, next week it will. And if it didn't, go check out your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, especially your North Node, okay? Always, especially if you're Gemini rising, okay? Um, or Mercury. If you have Gemini and Mercury or if you have Virgo and Mercury, go check out those readings. Always check out your, um, any sign that falls in its natural house, check that sign out, okay? And if you don't know what their sign is or what if, which natural house it, which house it falls in, 
go do your research, go look at it, okay? Um, everything is in alignment, right? Everything is in alignment, nothing is by accident, nothing is a mistake. So um, always check your natural houses. I love you guys. Um, check out your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links. Yes, you got several others down there. Before you go, before you click off and go run and get your readings, if you want to book a reading with me, that is the third link. Okay, you guys? I love you guys so much. Keep being awesome. Keep being amazing. You guys, be kind to one another. Be good. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And be safe, okay? Namaste.